Hello YouTubers, today we're working on this 2011 BMW 535i and we're going to be changing the water pump and the thermostat and it is windy today so hopefully y'all can hear me. Alright YouTubers, uh, I really don't like to talk too much on my videos but uh, I'm just going to try to relate some uh, info that might help you uh, troubleshoot if you have this issue. Okay, last winter, towards the end of last winter, the car started messing up. It started blowing cold air through the vents and it was weird. It was a weird thing. Sometimes one vent would blow cold and the other uh, warm. So uh, it was throwing me for a loop. You know, I didn't know what was going on. I figured maybe the blend door in there. So I was going to start tearing that apart. The car wasn't heating up. It was running at uh, normal temperature, but it was blowing cold air through the uh, vents. So I drove it like that for four days and I gonna work on it on the fourth day when I was off and then all of a sudden the car just it fixed itself it started blowing uh hot air through the heater and everything I kind of thought it might be the thermostat too but you know the way it was doing it real crazy Some, sometimes it would blow hot air through one side and sometimes it blow air through the it was weird both vents and sometimes just cold air so I left it alone because it fixed itself and I said cool that'll work then uh this winter now we got a cold day too i mean we got a day that was real cold and it started acting up again i think it started shooting cold air through the vents but this time the fan was kicking in high damn real loud and it did pop up a code and the code was po128 and i believe that uh is a code for uh that your thermostat is prematurely opening or it's stuck open but the car would run uh, fine, you know, it was just running real cold and then it started getting worse when I would gun it it go into limp mode it, it, I, I could still pick up 55 60 like that, but I would gradually have to step on it and get there But if I floored it, yeah, it go into limp mode So I go, what's going on here? So the fan would kick in on high. I mean like I said turn it on five minutes boom full blast and it would not let the car heat up to normal running temperature. It would run cold. It would not let the car, you know, heat up because that, uh, that's when I kind of figured it must be the thermostat prematurely opening or stuck open because the car couldn't heat up. It, it would not heat up. It would run cold. And then everything did go to hell. <laughs> then the car did start overheating. Uh, I couldn't drive it anymore. It was overheating. So then I go like, well, Something really went bad. So that's when I checked the uh, water pump. I did the procedure. And uh, as y'all can see, I'm going to show y'all here in a little bit. The pump's done. So I'm sure the uh, thermostat's done. So I went ahead and ordered the whole kit. The water pump, thermostat, and a jug of, of Freon and all that. And I think I paid a little under $500. But uh, I'll go ahead and do that uh, uh, procedure to see if the water pump's working the way uh, BMW recommends. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera here so y'all can see in there. And uh, this is the procedure that BMW uses to bleed your system and uh, I guess check your water pump if it's working. You get in the car and you turn on the, you don't turn the car on, you just hit the ignition on the on position or if you have a button, hit the button once where the lights come up on the dash. And then you turn your, your heater uh, blower down to the low and then you step on the gas pedal for 10 to 15 uh, seconds and then you'll see it uh, activate the water pump so let's do that real quick you just hit the button to all the lights come on you don't turn on the car and then uh, turn it down here and then you hold the gas pedal down for 10 seconds so you can hear it Here's something trying to kick in, but it's not. So I'm thinking that the pump's done. And look, you don't see nothing. There's a little wee hole here that it should be squirting water out. So there, nothing. And you can, if it doesn't do it the first time, try it several times. I've had them where it, nothing comes out. And then you try it like a third time, and then it, it actually kicks in. See nothing. Okay, I'm gonna try it again, and this time I'm gonna leave the camera out here. You can hear where it wants to kick in, something electrical is going on, but the pump's done. You get no circulation at all. But anyway, that's the way you uh, 
activate your water pump when you want to bleed it i don't use this system as far as or this method as far as bleeding it I, I, if y'all see my other videos i bleed it old school way but that's the way you can check and see if your water pump's working and nothing's coming out so water pump's done yeah it's very windy it's starting to pick up more so hopefully it won't mess up the video y'all still be able to hear me these are it's so windy that i have to use one of these clips to keep my hood open the wind just c comes in you know little waves and the hood wants to close on me so i use these a lot get them uh, at uh autozone or riding and they'll keep your hood from closing <laughs> in here just use one of these pumps get it at AutoZone I think Walmart sells them too shove it in there and suck it on into a container once you get going it'll do it by itself and let me answer that Once it stops on its own, just move it around and you'll find some pockets in there. <laughs> Let me give you a look at what I'm doing here. See, you gotta go uh, on the side of that flow. You got that flow. So just go to the, if you're facing the car, go to the right side of it and usually you can get in there. So, facing the car, be on your right. And this is what we got. Now what I do with this, I take it inside and tell the kids it's Kool-Aid. Nah. I okay, after I siphon some Kool-Aid, uh, I want to disconnect the uh, fan connection. And it's right here, and it's held on by a clip. I took mine off so you can see, if you can see. All you do is pinch on this tab up here, and it pops right out. You're done with that. Now I'm going to go through this real quick. I do have a video on how to take it off, but I'm going to run through it real quick. Okay, then you're going to have a 16 millimeter and a 15 millimeter. I don't know why they did different uh, bolts, but the back bolt is going to be the long bolt. Set it there, and the front one will be a, sh a short bolt. And there's the 15 millimeter and the 16 millimeter. 16 15 millimeter and just put that aside okay now we're gonna go in here and these are a t30 i believe let's see yes you're gonna have two t30s right here boom take that sucker out then run over here take that out then on each side that side and this side you lift the tab you're gonna have some more T30s in there. Take those two out, out. Then you lift this flap and you're gonna have two more here, but these are T40s. And watch out, cause the washer does fall out. Don't use that washer. T40s. Then you're gonna have another T40 right here. And to get to this sucker, it's hard to get any kind of a ratchet or anything in there. But go buy yourself one of these small ones, T40 bit, stick it in there, works perfect. There. Now you should be able to take off this cover and you do have the uh, cable to your uh, uh, hood right there just unhook it and then when you put it back in make sure you take these big old studs and they go into these slots now we're gonna pull out the radiator and this whole uh, cable will be getting in your way so just put it somewhere here Okay, we're gonna put the radiator fan out and on each side you have to do this. See this little clip? Just push it back. And when you do that, pull on the radiator fan. 
and see how it comes up. You're gonna do the same thing on this side. And up. Okay, I'm gonna set it there. This one you probably won't have a hard time. I've never had a hard time with this one. It's got one in the middle. Now that should allow you to bring that fan out. Just make sure you're not getting caught in nothing over here. Watch your hoses. When you take it out, on mine, I've taken this out so many times, this little rubber thing stays on here. But when you first do it, it goes right there in that little slot right there. That's where it goes. And if that gives you a hard time, just take a, take a T40. And you take this out while it's still in the car. See, that's, that's where it goes. If you're having a hard time getting the fan out, maybe you need to loosen that screw. It's a T40, and then the fan will come out. I can't remember how it works, but the first time I had to do it like that, but now, like I said, I take it out so many times, this comes out with the fan. I think it stayed there the first time. I don't remember, but it shouldn't give you a hard time. So see, now you're gonna have all this room. This is where the pump's gonna come out through. You're gonna have to push these back, and this towards you, and the pump should come out through here. It won't come out through the bottom. Okay, when you get down here on the car, you're gonna have one, two, three, four bolts, or you took two off, and they're that inverted star E18. Okay, there we go. This is the back one. It's a little bit shorter, but it's still long. And the front one's the longer one. So remember that. And you can just let it hang. It's got these thick hoses that it's not gonna hurt nothing. Boy, talk about some long screws. Yeah, I won't hurt anything. You know, these are thick uh, hoses. Oops, there goes that top. Okay, this one, it, it fell off, but if it doesn't fall off, when you take it off, this might stay on there, the top part. I'll just take it off, and this is how it goes on the vehicle. Small board in the back, large board in the front. Exactly how it goes. So you can set that aside all together so you won't forget. All right, this top button is always a pain in the rear, man. I mean, it is very hard to get to. Let me see if I can set the camera here and show you how I do it. Okay, it took me about five, six minutes trying to get the camera where it won't fall. That boat's always a pain in the rear. It's back there. Some people say they can get it through the bottom. and I've never been. I've had better luck. Just get one of these from Harbor Freight. Swivels around. And I don't have a E12, that's an E12 for a, a quarter inch, so I'm using an adapter. Ah, that's the adapter I'm using at the tip of my uh, ratchet. Because the only E12 I have, it's a 3 8. And just go back here and hook up on it and see, you can do it from right there. That's how I got it out. And I can't get my other hand in there because of the camera, but with the other hand, you can hold the socket so it don't spin when you get ready to turn. And it came out, let's see. And it's a very hard uh, place to get, get in, get in, to get it, you know, it's very hard. There it goes, it came out. Now let me go through the bottom and see how these guys say they can do it. Hey guys, what's up? Word. I don't see how these guys get it through here. I've got a swivel on it. And I can go through there. Maybe that's how they get it, but you're kind of working blind. I think I did do it once. Well, anyway, I got it out. But I, I go through the top all the time, right there. Uh, if you can get it through the bottom, hey, more power to you, brother. Okay, I don't know how well you can see, but there's the water pump connection. And it's got a tab. I'm going to push it with the screwdriver. And then I'm going to push with this other prying bar out. Okay, I'm pushing on the tab and I'm gonna push that out. There we go, see? 
and I'm only doing it while it's the water pump still uh, tied up there because I don't know if it was going to be hard and the water pump would be going back there with the connection. I wouldn't be able to get it, but anyway, we got it off. Let's take the bolts off now. All right, again, they're E12s. And uh, there's the one in the back. Sucker's already loose. This one's still tight on there. I don't know, maybe it's better to go through the front of that hose. Now the only thing holding that water pump in there should be uh the hoses there you go here's the two bolts ah here's the two bolts and uh bmw always recommends just about in anything you do on the car to uh buy new bolts but I i've reused them before guys just be careful don't over tighten them or they will break that's the reason they want you to use new ones because they're aluminum and they have a chance of breaking i haven't broken any yet but you know, like I said, just put them on there. Don't go crazy tightening them. If you don't have them, or if you're waiting on them because you ordered them, or if you're just too damn cheap like I've been sometimes, just reuse them, but be careful. All right. The only thing holding it now is the uh, hoses. If you look back there, you can see all them hoses. And let's disconnect them. All right, let's take a look at the goods. There's their lifetime warranty. There's the gallon of uh, coolant. The three bolts. And I take it this is the uh, thermostat. Sorry. Looks like a heart. Okay, let's see how long this baby's gonna last. Okay, this is the part that's real hard to film. Okay, hopefully y'all can see. I'm gonna try to get that light where it'll stay on there. But we're going after that clamp that's trying to hide from me. Way back there by where the connection was. It's just so hard to get a uh, camera and lighting in there. Try to be able to see what's going on. How about that? All right, I think I can get it in. And we might start squirting water here. I'm not sure. I've got a three eighths with a eight millimeter and a swivel for a wobble. Okay, now we're gonna push that hose out and then we will get some water coming out. I'm gonna use this prying bar. Hold the pump. Good thing my flashlight's waterproof. Okay, that was an eight millimeter that we took off on that hose. Now we got that other clamp. Can you see it? It's in the back trying to hide over there. And of course, that's a different size. That's a uh, six millimeter. Let me wedge this uh, light in there somewhere. Maybe you can see right there. Okay, right there. All right, so that's a six millimeter. And when I put this pump last time, I remember I put that facing this way because I knew I was gonna change it sooner or later one day so I said like yeah let me put you know I don't need that swivel it's just causing more trouble okay I'm back I took that swivel because it's a straight shot like I said I remember 
I said to myself, I'm gonna place it this way so when I take it off, it won't be that hard. And that's pretty good. Now that's just uh, the pump should just slide off, and I don't think that one will squirt any water. At least I don't think it will. Let's see. Nope, it came off already, and no agua. No agua. And there's the pump. And I think the thermostat we can probably get through the fr front or the top. I mean, let me get this camera out of the way. I already drank some coolant earlier, it went in my mouth. It's the sweet. Okay, like I said it looks like it would come out through the bottom, and I mean, it is so close. to get that. It is so close from coming out through the bottom, but it doesn't. I've already done five of them, and I know that. Okay, we're topside and uh, we're gonna take the water pump. You got a connection here, I'll show it to you. Okay, let me show you something first before I put the water pump. There's a connection right here, but I took disconnected it when, when you get to that top bolt on the water pump. All you do is just push it in and it clips in. And when you take it out, you push on that top, top uh, wire and pull it out and it comes out. But I hit it back here, that's why you didn't see it. I didn't want to get in my way. I stuffed it back there. Okay, let's get the pump out. All right, let's get that water pump in. We're going through the top again. Push on that radiator back and push them hoses all the way forward. Don't put a hole, don't force it. See how it draws when you push the radiator back. Okay, we gotta turn it around. It's gonna go like that. Okay, here's this artificial heart. Here's how, how the thermostat looks like. It's got a uh, hose in the back. Looks like a, it's easy to reach. This hole's easy to take off, it's just a clamp. These look like they're easy. Looks like all of them will be easy to take off. Just this clip, I can't get it, so I'm gonna wait till I get it off, see if I can lift it up and do it out here. Okay, I'm gonna remove this cover so we can have a better view. It just pops up from two little studs and then pulls out from the back over there. Right here. There, those two little clips go over there. Now we got a better view. All right, guys, this is one video I hate doing water pumps. It's not too bad, I have a job, but it's getting the camera in those tight spots. But um, here's the way the thermostat looks. We're gonna go for this hose first and it's got one of those like your uh, coolant lines. You pull that clip up and it should slide out. And it... Okay, I think you can barely see. Here's that clip. I'm gonna try to pull it up. There it's up. Now I'm gonna pull this hose and it should come. There we go. See how it comes out? That's it. Okay, hose number two. And this is just a regular clamp you can get with the pliers or you have that hose tool, but I don't think that two that a hose tool fits in here. Okay, bring it up. <clears throat> Come on, there we go. Use my homemade hook. Let's go around it. Break that seal. Okay. There, that's hose two. I'm thinking that sucker in the back is gonna be the hard one. Screws are shooting that way. I think that's a six millimeter. We can get it with a ratchet. Okay, and I think all we need to do is take this front one off, and I'm able to get it with a ratchet and a little small saw uh, extension. And it is a six millimeter. A little more, just to be on the third side. I went ahead and took it completely off. If it comes out, maybe it don't come out. No, looks like it's hooked on there pretty good. I'm not gonna mess with it. If it don't come out, oh yeah, it does. It's down there with the imprint left. Bad boy been in there for years. 
And here's where you're gonna have to be patient and be careful to, or you end up buying a new radiator. Just pull that, break that seal. Just take your time, man. Don't wanna tear nothing up here. Hear that cracking? That was on there real good. These aren't very sharp. You get in my harbor. Where is it at? I'm trying to show it to you there. But you can still do some damage. I'm gonna try to go in there. And, okay, there, see? Now I'm going around on the bottom, breaking the seal. And you see there's water coming out, so something's happening. I decided to go through the back. I was trying to take it out through here, and I think I'll have better luck through the back because I can lean on it and really push it out now. Well, I thought I could. Okay, guys, I think we're almost there. Like I said, I don't care about that thermostat. It's done anyway. Golly, come on, buddy. Shoot. I see something. I was screwing up. I didn't see that damn uh, screw there. See it back there? Let me get that out. Gosh, my bad, guys. I didn't even see that bolt right there. See? Gosh. And all that time. I bet you. Is this little shit. By the way, that was an E8 socket. I'm trying to look at this one. Maybe this little clip has to be pushed down. Maybe that has to do something with it. Let me try it. Like I said, I'm not worried about that thermostat. It breaks, it breaks. It's this new one that we're worried about. Okay, that's what it was. I pressed on that tab and it gave me some play. I thought it did. Okay, there's a clip down there that's hooked up on. Okay, guys. <laughs> I went in there and I manhandled it. I went in with both hands and just moved it and this came out. So that's out. And then I just pushed it back a little bit and moved it and it came out of those tracks right there. That little clip. You can see it back there. So that's what holds it. So guys, I don't know what to tell you. That is a pain in the rear getting it out. All right, we're back to this clip. Going back down. With all that fussing we're doing. Back, back down and see if we can get it out. All right, guys. I'm gonna let you know it's no walk in the park. These things are sealed down there. Look, it won't even come out. I'm pissed, man. I'm gonna pull this hose out now. I figured out, man. That hose goes to the water pump, so you can pull it out and then just snake it. Watch where it, it's, it comes out through. See where it's at? It goes through there. Then go, just put it back in. That's the way to do it, guys. Just pull it out and work with it out here. Or you're gonna destroy something. Okay, let me unhook this clip. All I did on this clip is hit the back here. It's got a little back there. Just press on it. See how it lifts up. And you pull on it. Now you got this whole piece of crap here. And now you can work on it out here. Well, guys. Get ready for a workout. And now when you take it out, just kind of move it like this back and forth because it still don't want to come out. Maybe you'll work that seal. Alright guys, I'm just wiggling it, putting it between my legs and just doing that number. Gosh, my goodness, when you want to put it in there, the damn thing will come back out. All right, 
Where's the new one? Let's see. Okay, you want to align these little notches with this, these little slits in there. Got some slits, one there and one here. And be careful, you got an O-ring in there and a plastic little uh, ring. Don't lose those. I hope I put it in the right way, because let's see, yeah, let's see. Okay, I took the clip off. I got it over here, let me go get it. As I was struggling with it, the clip kept uh, popping on me, so I said, I'll just take it off. Okay, we're in. Now let's just snake it back in there. One in. And right there. Let me uh, connect it up here real quick before I go any further. Okay, a connection clipped in there. I don't know if you heard it. Now let me snake it through here. Right there, you might be able to see it. Through there, I doubt it, but worth the shot there we go okay, I'm gonna take it through the bottom to see where that hose goes through buddy and there's that hose right there all you do is grab it and pull it and there's a thermostat looking at us going like you got me see how it moves when I pull on this hose so there's that's the hose that goes to the water pump I think the one in the back I think it's the one in the back so that's all you have to do and it's not hard to snake in through there just watch and look how, how it came out and then just push it through there don't kill yourself like I was anyway let's get that bad boy I still got to pull on it more and ladies and gentlemen that was a pain in the rear I do not want to do that again and then when you put it in there you finally got it the holes pulled up through through the bottom you're gonna have to go by feel to get hook it up on that little clamp that was down here but before you do that push it back and try to put this hose in there let me try get the clamps on it man that one hasn't lit up at all it's still blowing i think it's about eight o'clock at night i'm just gonna snug these up man, it looks like it wasn't even on the right You don't want to go too tight or then you're going to have hell trying to shove it in there. may have been too tight. I'm going to loosen them a little bit then we'll go for it. I we'll have to use both hands. Yeah, it's going to be fine. Sorry guys, I'm going to have to get in y'all's way. So. Alright guys, we're almost in there, you see. It's just that I got to get on top of it and that's where the camera's at. Let's see if we can get it like this. You can push the radiator back. There we go. It's fine. Here we go. Hope y'all saw that. Because that's a one time shot. You won't see it again. This time, if, if they're not in the way, I'm going to put these suckers facing this way. So, next person, which will probably be me, can get to them better. Now I'm going to lift it and try to hook it up on that bracket. But again, I need to come over this way. <clears throat> okay, where you that bracket? There you are. Okay, I'm hooked on. There we go. And push it forward so I can get that bolt in there. I think we're there. Okay, guys, let's see how many tries it takes me to get this dang bolt in there. So far, it's staying on there. Goodness, I got it. All right. All right. I can still get to the hoses. I just want to make sure I wasn't goofing up and doing something, tightening something I wasn't supposed to tighten yet. All right, YouTubers, I turn these where we can get them easier. None of that BS, they got him hiding over there. Shit. Okay, here goes the other hose. I 
but I didn't even look if the lines were aligned and it went in. Yeah. No complaints here. All right, here goes the final hose. See how long it takes to get this back. And like I said, I always try to put everything back the way it went. Put it on the same markings. You know, that prevents it from leaking or anything. I need to get this clip a little to the right. There we go. Not all the way, just, just a little bit. So I'm having hell trying to get this. But anyway, it's on there. I just got to push it down further. All right, let's get that water pump in. We're going through the top again. Push on that radiator back and push them hoses all the way forward. Don't put a hole, don't force it. See how it draws when you push the radiator back. Okay, we gotta turn it around. It's gonna go like that. These hoses, you can move around so you can get it in position. Let me go through the bottom and see where I'm getting stuck. Okay, now if you look, that's the uh, hose we're gonna hook up to first back there, and it's kind of messed up, but I think I can still get a bite. It's worn out from all them damn pumps I've been changing, and I'm gonna try to get that back one in there first. Okay. Where are you at? There's that connection that's gonna go in there. Usually they just go in there real smooth. See? It's in there already. Now I'm gonna tighten that one. I'm gonna set this, line it up here. I don't know if you can see the bolts. <sighs> okay, I'm pushing it way in there because this isn't a very good hole, so I need to make sure I... Okay, I don't know how much you can see, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the plug in. Run it through this side of the pump. You won't be able to see because I, I, sh I probably should have done it before I put the pump, but I'm doing it now and it's going to be hard. There we go. Okay, it's in. It won't come out. I'm trying to push it out and it won't come out. All right. Shoot. Okay. Usually when I've done these, these holes go in automatically. Even the back one's gone in, but sometimes you need to take your hand and go through the back here. And there's a hole and you can push the hose see how i'm pushing on it and it moves the pump and hold it with this hand while you push the pump in i probably won't be able to film that one because i'm gonna have to get up close and personal for this one but we'll try okay here goes let's see how much of this y'all can see i've actually used the prime bar too and shoved it back there and held it while it pushed the pump in Okay, we're in. I don't know if y'all can see. Just push the pump in and hold that hose with your fingers. And it'll go in. It's in. Okay, now I'm going to tighten that clamp. I'm going to finish putting the hurt on this bad boy here. Okay, guys, you can actually get your hand in through here. See how it's sealed better? I stuck my hand in here, grabbed the hose, and look, you can push it hard all the way in. So, Alright, I got that E12. Let's line it up. Start it in there. And just start it a little bit, and then we'll go to that one. It's going to be a pain in the rear and the top. Because you're going to want to have some movement, I think. That's good. All right, now that you've been down there moving all kinds of stuff, these wires are loose as a goose. And you can take that bolt in your hand like this and just push and come around and get it in there. And then with your finger, you can turn and it'll turn. See, I'm on it with the ratchet. That's the best view I can give you guys. But anyway, that's what you're gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna put the other bolt on now. Okay, don't forget to connect this connection. I better do it now before I forget. Just uh, 
push it in as you line it up use this hair there you go snapped in and then I'm gonna finish tightening that bolt okay at this point before I button everything up I like to uh, start at the uh, coolant and check for any leaks before I put everything back together then find out I have a leak and have to redo everything when you do this use a funnel that way uh, you won't make a mess you won't spill any everywhere and you don't know whether your vehicle is leaking or it's just stuff that you spilled here's the coolant thing Sim. let me go down there before I put the whole gallon make sure there's no leaks And you want to check where the water pump connections are at. That's probably where you first see anything leaking. And of course, where your uh, thermostat hooks up. Let me look in there. I think she's getting full. Okay, now I'm going to cycle the, the water pump. I'm going to do that where you turn on the ignition. Don't turn the vehicle on. Just turn it on where the lights come on. You know, your power's on. Step on the gas pedal for 10 to 15 seconds. And then we'll see if it starts kicking in. And I'll leave you up here. And I don't bleed it like that because it takes 14 minutes, they say. I don't know. I've never done it. I go the old school way. I turn it on after everything's done with the cap off and jacked up the way it is. And that way all the air bubbles will go up or all the air pockets that are trapped in there. I let it run about five. You know, it brings up all the air pockets. And it's worked for me. I mean, I'm not going to sit here. 14 minutes when I can do it in five minutes. Okay, let me uh, start or uh, do the uh, procedure so y'all can see. Okay, if this works, you're gonna hear it click and stuff, and then you're gonna see it water start shooting out through that little wee hole there. Sometimes it'll take a while, guys. You may have to do it a few times. Come on, baby. Hear it, hear it. Come on, come on. Start spitting out. All right, YouTubers, I don't know exactly what's going on, but um, it started pumping, as you see, it's a, little, a little bit. But I think I had to start it. I had to crank it up, and like I said, I just ran it for a little bit to help it, I guess, start circulating. And because uh, I don't have the fan on, so I can't leave it running that long. And uh, I started pumping it. <laughs> But uh, I think what's wrong is my battery is low. Because when I turned the ignition, didn't turn the car on, like I told you, just the ignition. I read low battery, some devices have been shut down. So I think that's one of them. It shut down that process of starting it. Because they do say when you go through that process, you do run your battery down. So when I fired it up, that's when I seen it squirt more. So I'm thinking that gave the battery a charge. But I'm going to put it back together and we'll see what happens when I put it down and start it. I've never had that happen when I do the water pumps. You can say this is the fifth one, maybe the sixth one, and they've always kicked in. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what's up. We'll find out here in a little bit. Okay, let's try it again. There you go. See? That's what you want to see. I don't know what was going on. It scared me. I thought the pump was bad. See, I'll just let it run like this for five minutes and it'll get all the air pockets out. And uh, when I turn it on right now, it did read the battery low again. So maybe that was the issue. You need a good battery to run that test. I'll, be, I'll see you in five minutes. Okay, it's been like seven, five minutes. I don't see no more air bubbles. All right, YouTubers, it's the next day after that beating I took and the car's running perfect but uh it's running good no no issues heaters heating up fans not kicking in so thanks for watching guys like always I appreciate you and good luck God bless